my God. Good morning fellow campers, how are you guys all doing today? I'm doing good, hope you guys are doing just as well. Greetings and beyond venue, let me go ahead and take this off my head right quick, uh oh. Alright, so um, for those of you that are watching right now uh, that were not a part of the live stream, I apologize um, that you missed everything that happened. Um, Anyway, um, oh, screen tearing. Anyway, but to those of you that uh, did come to the live stream, uh, thank you very much for showing up, showing all your support. Um, everyone who missed the live stream, like I said, uh, I believe I, I wanted to make sure that I said this in my previous video, but all of the quests that we did, we actually ended up doing um, a couple. Uh, so I just want to reflect a little bit on that, and I'll make sure that I leave the time in the uh, description for those of you who just want to skip listening to me talk, who already saw these videos, and uh, go straight into the gameplay. So, um, first things first, we did uh, go out with uh, Klein and Nagil, and uh, knock out some of those side quests. Um, I actually died. Because there were some level 500 monsters like hanging around out there. I don't think I actually saved that um, part of the recording, but I know that was part of the live stream. And um, some of the fighting and uh, stuff that I released in the in the at the end of that previous video um, was from before I went back out into the field. And when I came back out after I had went through and cleared some of those quests the first time, there were some like really huge like level 500 enemies that were completely impossible to even like injure. And so I try to kill those because I'm an idiot, and they knocked the Jesus out of me. So, um, ignoring that, um, there's also, uh, we did Klein's quest that he was, uh, inviting us to go where he said he found the key to a new dungeon, um, and at the end of that, it ended up being because he wanted to get a special flower from the boss to give to, um, Seven, also known as, I'm just gonna call her Seven. So, um, People that don't know Seven, uh, she's the leader of Shamrock, which is a guild in this game, and she's also some sort of genius uh, doctor. So, um, after that, I want to say after that was, um, I don't really know, uh, <laughs> I don't remember exactly what these happened in chronological order, so I'm just going to talk about them. Um, there was a scene where literally every character like that you could access at the time um, was in the kitchen for some reason. I don't, uh, yeah, they were touching Silica's ears, which was really creepy. And there was like a whole scene where like everybody was touching her ears and Kirito was touching her ears. And then Sinon came in and everybody was like, what the fuck are you doing, Kirito? And he was like, uh, nothing. But anyway. Um, after that, Agil came in, and he gave everybody cat ears, uh, which is like some kind of item, and, uh, there was a whole scene about that, and Asuna was all like, Kirito, if you like my cat ears, I'll wear them for you all the time, and I was like, that's fucking weird, and good girl Lizbeth 
came in and shut that shit down. She was like, "Okay, no, we don't we don't need that right now. That's ridiculous." Um so that happened. Um Zekin, also known as Yuki, um she showed up. Uh people that didn't watch the live stream before the last live stream where I had my special guest on here, um you don't know how much I fucking hate that character. But uh, I'm going to go into a little bit of detail on that. Basically, her whole backstory is that she has AIDS. And somehow in Japan, they have gotten the in in the future in future Japan like twenty years in the well I guess ten now ten years in the future no it was like twenty thirty okay sometime in the future in Japan um I don't know what kind of fucking AIDS that they have there but um the people that I've seen that have AIDS don't don't have the problems this girl has so she was a member of a guild of terminally ill children. And all of the people in the guild had some sort of ridiculous disease. Like, one guy had, like, something akin to testicular elephantitis, which if you don't know what that is, look it up, because I'm not going to explain it. Um, and his balls exploded, and he fucking died. And then there was another kid that had cancer, and this other girl that had, like, double cancer, and all this other crazy shit. And they were all in the guild together, and they were, and they were trying to get on the list for... Um, uh, clearing a floor, clearing a floor. The first people to beat a floor boss get their names on like this really huge um monolith in the center of the original of the game in ALO, and they wanted to all get their names immortalized on the stone because they were all gonna die. And I was like, okay, that's fair. Um. And they didn't. They didn't immediately tell you that all the kids were gonna die. Like it was. Some, they were just like, "Oh, we're a party, and we want to get on this monolith, but we don't want to join like a guild because in a guild, only the party leaders' names get um, put up there because they normally have huge parties for a floor boss. So they wanted to clear a floor boss with just their party. But they did, they obviously weren't strong enough. So Yuki, aka Zekin, who is a huge like badass swordsman. Um, well, actually, it's a little girl, but she's a she's a really badass swordsman. So she is out challenging everyone who has like any weapon to a duel. She's like, if you win the duel, then I will teach you um my original sword skill. People that didn't watch out, um the original sword skill is basically a sword skill that you can make up. That's a ridiculous combo of stuff that's pretty much unblockable by anything, and if you're good and you make one, it's like the strongest freaking thing in the entire universe. Like people that watch Sao, um, Kirito's Starburst Stream was actually uh, an original sword skill in the game. Um, so that thing that he used to solo bosses, that <laughs> she had one of those um, in ALO. And since there's no um, dual wielding. I guess this was, yeah, this was ALO. So anyway, since there's no um, dual wielding in ALO, there's no dual wielding sword skill. So I don't think Kirito ever bothered to make an original sword skill. So hers was really the one of the most known skills that you could get at the time. It was like an 11 hit combo or something like that. So her 11 hit sword skill was what she was going hey if you beat me I'll give you my strongest attack basically um and so since Kirito and Asuna were like hanging around and they had heard about it they were like well I don't really give a shit about the the skill because who cares but I want to fight Zekin because apparently no one's ever beaten that person they thought it was a dude at first you yeah. know racism sexism whatever you want to call it so um Kirito, in the uh, show, Kirito and literally everyone except Asuna that was all in their gang had all fought and lost to, Yu to Yuki, Zekin, whoever. Um, and in the show, they sort of heavily alluded to the fact that the reason that Kirito lost was A, because he wasn't um, fighting at full strength because it was a girl and he doesn't like fighting against girls, and B, because he didn't dual wield at all, which is what he normally does, and he wasn't used to fighting uh, with a single sword. Um... But he also could have just gotten his ass flat whooped. We didn't see the fight. Um, so in this, you also don't see the fight. You don't fight her um, as Kirito. You fight her as Asuna. So you take Asuna out um, 
to this field and you fight Zekin. So that's what we did. Uh, we fought Yuki. Um, and it was fairly interesting uh, watching her fight and um, seeing all those damn health bars. Uh, she had four. Um, so she was basically a floor boss, but we didn't have to knock all our health bars down. We just had to get like one or two, I think, something like that, um, as per dual regulations. So after we did that, um, or possibly before we... That happened, and um, we also took Asuna out uh, with just the two of us on um, the next quest in the storyline. Um, this actually was cut out of the uh, video recording that I did because it was like apparently the whole scene was copywritten, so I could I couldn't show that to you guys, um, but. The two guild leaders, the one, the leader of the elf people and the uh, leader of the cat people, um, helped us with that book that we were trying to uh, figure out how the fuck we were going to get somebody to read this book. Um, she had some sort of magical magnifying glass that lets you read shit. Eh. Um, and so she read us that we needed two, two items, just items, we didn't know what they were, um, from... To, op to activate that little level city portal thing that's in the middle of the field out there. Um, and we took Asuna out, just two of us. I think I got another trophy for that. And I definitely, she messaged me afterwards. It was really creepy. Um, but yeah. So we did that whole quest. Um, there was definitely a boss in there. That guy had like four motherfucking, it was like a fucking dragon type shit. Something crazy. Um, killed that. Got the first uh, part. Um to the jet stream generator or whatever it's supposed to be called. And another quest with Klein, uh, he apparently went into a dungeon, found a treasure chest, pocketed the treasure chest, like put it in his pocket, and walked back to the town, and then took it out of his pocket with Kirito and Agil there, and we were like, how the shit did you, what? He was like, yeah, the whole, basically the whole treasure chest just fit in my inventory, and I was like, mm, Kirito also didn't think that made any sense. Um, but, uh, he was like, there wasn't a key next to it. So, we were all like, well, let's go look for the key, Klein. The shit are you doing? So, um, we went back into, uh, one of the dungeons where he, where he got it from. Uh, there were some waverns in there. Killed all the waverns. Got the key. Came back out. He opened the treasure chest. And apparently it was porn. It was a porn magazine just in there. But Kirito couldn't read it because everybody knows that literally everyone else in the game is a year older than um, Kirito. Uh, hold on one second. Okay, so, um, I forget where I left off. Anyway, um, so long story short, uh, quests were done. Um, and they were, uh, mo pretty much all the quests uh, that I did that were relevant, um, to the story and whatnot were all saved. Um, and they have been uploaded and they're already in the, uh, series, um, so, for those of you that missed, sorry, <laughs> uh, there's not any commentary, not any video, it's just, uh, only gameplay, so if you, uh, really want to make sure that you catch up on the story, uh, and my summary wasn't good enough for you. Um, feel free to go watch those, uh, see everything that happened, and, um, let me move this over here, so it's diabetes, it doesn't leak on me, and, uh, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, hop, uh, try, hop into the game, give me one second.
sort out all the line and lost the song. Okay, so um, hopefully I'm louder than this in the uh, the game, but whatever. We're gonna work it out. Gonna work it out. Okay, so um. Yes, so now, uh, in my party, I have, um, Austin, Alifa, Silica, Liz, Sino, Estrella, Philia, uh, Sakia, and Alicia Rue. Those are the two people, um, that are in charge of all the race, pretty much the whole race, um, that helped us to de uh, decode that book, um, so, thank you to both of them, uh, they are now in the party, and I guess that means that they are also playable characters. Um, we've got Kleinigil, we've got Yuki, aka Zekin, who's the girl I was just talking about earlier. Um, some people might remember her from ALO. And we've got Argo. She was also, um, in SAO, in, no, she wasn't, she was in the game. Uh, in the previous game, like the very, very end of the game. Like, the game was over, and you, like, beat, like, the final boss and all that. She just showed up. She was like, I'm in a... I've been waiting for this. I want to fight you. I'm like, okay, Sasuke. Naruto. Uh, I want to keep this mic out of the video. But I don't want to not be able to be hurt. So, uh, if you can't hear me, sorry. I did this on purpose, for the most part. Okay, so, I don't actually remember. Yeah, I sent a message to us and she was like, I'm so happy to be in a party with you. And I was like, I don't give a fuck. Sorry, Asuna. It's not that you're not cool, it's that you're not cool enough. So, I'm actually gonna swap her out now. Yeah, for you. I... Oh yeah, I think I was explaining about her. So yeah, it's so basically, um... She, because of her AIDS-ness, she was in, oh yeah, okay, so yeah, all the people, um, that after Asuna beat, um, Yuki in a duel, she invited her to join their party so they could all go fight a floor boss, um, they actually went and came with the whole plan and beat the floor boss, after they beat the floor boss, one of the terminally ill kids, the, the kid with the ball problem, his balls exploded and he died. And so they were like, well, then everyone left and Yuki completely stopped talking to Asuna. And so Asuna went and hunted down one of her, one of the other people um, that had actually logged back into the game for some reason. I think it was to transfer her character to like another game or something like that. And um, talked to her and she gave her all the information um, about the whole we were a guild of all terminally ill kids and after the last person died we totally um, decided to stop hanging out and they still didn't tell you what was wrong with Yuki so after that girl left Asuna went back to the real world got real world Kirito to basically like go spy <laughs> and find out where she was at Kirito found out that she was in a hospital they went to the hospital they got to the hospital, they found out that she was inside, like, a pod, inside of a room, inside of another room, on her own personal wing of a building. So I was like, well, she has to have, like, zombieism or something that's, like, ultra-contagious that will kill anybody, like, if they get near her or something like that. Um, and she's in, like, a the hospital version of the full dive system that uh, Kirito, basically Kirito was in, in Sao, um, where they're keeping her alive just with fluids and whatnot because she can't leave the room and so i'm like well what she doesn't have cancer because cancer doesn't do that 
And so she, Austin is like talking to um, the doctor and they go all the way back like to the wing of the building and they're like outside of the glass, outside of her room, looking at her. And um, he, the doctor is talking about it and Austin is like, what the hell is wrong with her that you have all this stuff in here? And he was like, oh, she has AIDS. And I was like, she has AIDS. She has her own building on a hospital campus, which has a room, which has another room inside of it, which inside of that has a giant pod hooked up to a supercomputer where at all times she is unconscious and inside of a virtual reality because she has a what? So, yeah, so that pissed me off. So I basically stopped watching, like, I don't even know what episode that was, but I stopped watching ALO after that. So, um, if something else happened, I don't know. I think at some point, Kirito might have, like, come up with some, like, weird robot so that she could, like, have a life. So that sounds like something Kirito would do. That's what he did for Yui. That was, like, a whole part of that, where he just made, like, a tiny robot so that Yui could just go around and talk to stuff outside of Sal because that was what he wanted to do and I was like that's so creepy Kirito but whatever so that's that's where I left off at I'm sorry uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just make a note uh, just at the time of this video that whenever I stop talking about this this is when you guys can watch uh, for those who don't like hearing me blabble on about shit that I hate um, I'm currently trying to open a package that I got. I ordered something uh, over a month ago. It was probably actually two months ago at this point. And it just got here. And it is this wristband. Um, one of these things. I'm sure people have seen them before. Um, the only difference is this uh, actually has a... I don't know if you can see that here. As a USB um, port in it, so I can store data in my wristband. Ah, <laughs> No, <笑>あ、そうか。勇気はアスナと know about that. <laughs> okay, so that was a little bit of a weird moment for me. Um, That's the one thing about flying this game uh, that really throws it off for me. You fly really, really slow, and in order to fly quickly, you have to use up like all of your stamina. Yeah, I'm above the altitude limit. I'm just standing here. So I can't actually activate flying. Which isn't really relevant, considering the fact that I'm in a cave and you can't fly in a cave anyway. Hirokin's Cave. I'm also really confused as to why like they have it the system set up where everyone shows up. 
さっきのダンジョンの入り口で使った鍵が必要なのかもあそうか試してみよう早く中に入ってみようよあ,あ Yeah, I'm pretty sure the person that I chose for my solo quest was not Philia, it was definitely this girl, but hey. Maybe I don't know shit. You hear the sound of a door opening. And a monster appearing. Yeah, um, normally she uses a one handed sword, um, but I actually made her uh, pick up a two handed because it has like a crap ton of buffs on it, and her strength is definitely high enough to use it. So, and I didn't want to use it. Also, she's really like when she has one sword, she is really fast. Which I think was one of the reasons why um, Kirito said that Asuna should fight her because Asuna uses a uh, rapier and therefore um, she's by default faster than people using regular one handed swords. Is she still fighting this guy? Okay, um, as obvious as it is that I'm supposed to jump up there. I want to make sure that I don't miss anything. This is back the way we came. Okay, this is where we came from. If you see me just completely wasting my time using magic for no reason, it's because the only way to get magic that doesn't suck is apparently by repeatedly using magic you already have. So I just keep using magic. I hope I get something good later on. I see this is a dungeon. That stuff we were doing before wasn't even you just like came into like a single room. <laughs> it was like okay. You should be. I don't offer lessons. Wait, so did I go both ways already? Okay, so this is locked. Oh, 
The other side has a wall that looks really fake. And this has a door. Then all the way back here is the other side. Okay. Alright. She does, so... Okay, so now we're on the second floor. That's the only thing that's on here because there's two second floors clearly. Yeah. Indoors, the maps are fairly useful. Outside, psh, might as well not even have a map. I'm not sure which door we would open because there's not any around here. I'm hoping that was one of the doors on the first floor and not one of the doors on the second floor. Every single enemy that exists. Maybe we can't, but why would we do that? <sighs> okay, so ready. I assume we came in this way. I don't think so. Oh well.
Okay, so that's the door to the second floor. But are the rest of these still locked? Nope. Okay, so those are still locked. Not sure if there's anything important in there anyway, but... I think we also found the boss. Do you see that? Where the hell is Silica? Okay, nah, you see how many health bars that is? Not even come in here with full health. Hello? Okay. Back up. Right. Link start. 
Oh my gosh, what is with this boss? I get that after you knock a certain level of health down, he's supposed to go like all crazy and whatnot, but. So basically, whenever he does that, we just all need to back the hell up. And then... What the fuck did I just tell you? Back the fuck up, you Yeah, bringing someone like her along is a lot more helpful because she clearly is used to doing stuff on her own. So I don't have to worry about healing her. And she has her own buffs and all that. Oh. I was making attention. Okay, so now that he's out of his uh, buff state, this again. Let's see if we can't deal some damage. Cool. This Stop aggroing her, just because she's annoying as we have to kill her. Stick to the plan, dipshit. Myself, Okay. I'm not sure how to revive people, so what the hell is that? Oh look, a boss that actually dropped an item for once. I don't, I don't know how to heal you. Okay. Apparently that's how you do it. Oh. Yeah, I made you to heal yourself. Heal yourself. Heal. Oh, 
Okay, well I learned some skills, so before I forget that I did, let me... Still didn't learn any sword skills. Not that I'm complaining or anything. Cough. Quick. That's all I got. Okay. Guess I can have that up here. Search doesn't really do it for me anyway. Yeah, okay, so that's Starburst Stream. So that there, animation that you just saw that looks completely ridiculous, that was Kirito's original sword skill in Sal. So this girl has a one-handed version of that nonsense that she was giving away um, to people that could beat her. Although she never, she didn't use the uh, original sword skill um, in battle until she fought Asuna. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that she fought Asuna, used the sword skill, and still lost. But I might be a little fuzzy on that. It's possible that she could have won with the original sword skill and picked Asuna anyway. Because the whole point of her thing was to find somebody strong, not necessarily find someone to beat her. So she could have just used it, overpowered her with the sword skill, and then picked her to fight. Okay. So. Go south. No, if you're not planning on going to the dungeon right now, then you don't need to do it. Ah, Griffin. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's how, that's how I would do it. If I wasn't gonna get ready to go to use it to try and get to the dungeon immediately. Holy. Oh, here we go. Who are you, purple guy? No, there's literally like 15 of us. We do not need your help. At all. Like, we. I'm really. I'm not. I'm not feeling this. Alright, Yuki. Oh, 
Oh god. This is kind of why I didn't want to do this, because she definitely did not have any health, and I didn't have my full health, and I didn't want to do this. Okay, well, we still technically beat the story. Okay, well, now she's responded full health, so that's helpful. Yeah, because as we got to that dungeon, she definitely did not have any health. I kind of give you an option to like start the quest, but they don't give you an option to like ignore Shamrock. Yes, I must get this. Game. I'm not even sure how to revive you, so... Okay, so how do I heal this girl? Okay, well, I feel like the best way to deal with this is to just kill all the enemies without dying. Yeah, this is not this camera anymore. Every time I like lock on to him, it just goes outside of my field of view. Like that. And then every time I try to use the camera to like angle around, it just locks onto another thing. So but we don't do that. I 
was definitely blocking. You have to be facing him and blocking. That's a lot. The f what? Okay. <sighs> yeah, I don't, I don't know how to heal people, other people, or anything like that. So, um, that makes it a little difficult. This sort of setback is nothing to Shamrock. Well, I don't care then. Hopping on this jet turbine. How do I revive you? Like, they never explain that. resurrect any other member of my party so like I don't know maybe I have to use a specific item for that not just any healing item I wasn't paying attention so I don't really know what I used Alright guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this uh, here. Uh, oh goodness. Alright, um, I'm going to end this video uh, right here. Because, A, my computer is completely overheating because I'm trying to process other videos and upload other videos and record this all at the same time on my laptop, which is not really, it's a terrible idea. Um, and, uh, I actually have somewhere to go. So, um, leave you guys off, uh, with this. Next video, we are going to go up to that, uh, floating island, um, and figure out just what exactly is going on up there where we can't fly to. Um, I lost. Okay, anyway, um, 
the next thing uh, that is going to happen uh, is going to be the Star Wars Battlefront um, stream. I think it's going to be probably after the next video of uh, this that I do. Um, that's going to be a stream straight here to YouTube. Um, so the stream is going to be recorded um, for anyone who wants to go back and uh, watch that. It's going to be on our live streams playlist. Um, so make sure uh, if you are not able to watch the stream live, uh, feel free to check that out. Um, like I said, it's going to be hoovering um, around... I want to say hovering around like an hour or two hours, something like that. Um, if we get enough people, I might decide to do another giveaway. Um, and I might actually sneak some Black Ops 3 gameplay in there. Not sure. Um, I haven't actually gotten a chance to play it since the beta. So that's neither here nor there. Um, so all that's going to be going down uh, in the next couple of days. Make sure that you guys tune in. Uh, watch me. Watch uh, any of the other people that are on this group. Um, they're going to be streaming. I want to say that the um, next game. I want to tell you what the next game that I'm going to be doing is. But I don't actually have permission to tell you right now. So, uh, the next video, I'll let you know all that information, let you know more about the stream details and all that. I'll catch you guys on the side that flips. Stay frosty.